YouTubers, this is your boy Amari Points here bringing you the latest movie review. Today I'm doing my latest movie review on the newest movie that came out this weekend, Dune, which tells the story of Paul, uh, the head of his house. And let me tell you, this movie is just a fantastic movie. I loved it. Every single moment of this movie, I was just really into it especially seeing seeing stellar Skarsgård playing this legit bad villain who was just trying to get rid of Paul's family take them out one by one and Oscar Isaac that plays uh, Paul's father I can't remember his name was fantastic he literally can act he legit can act and let me tell you, this is a movie you'll have for sure to have to check out. And now let's start with the positives and negatives. First off are the positives. Was well, the way that uh, uh, Timothy acted in this movie as Paul, he was just phenomenal. <laughs> Seeing him play like this interesting Lee character and having these having these visions having these uh, like so called future visions of uh, Zendaya's character uh, Chani who, who honestly by the way she's a talented actress without a doubt she's a talented very talented actress I am so sorry I'm just going to leave it the way it is and these guys definitely had a lot of good chemistry in here. I am so sorry. I'm trying to get everything fixed here. I'm trying to get everything fixed here. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> but all in all, still, the way he had these so-called future visions showing him what is uh, to come and seeing how he's just trying to decipher all of these visions uh, day by day day by day and everything is just the way of saying uh, the future of this movie is set it's definitely it is definitely set for sure another positive is the great chemistry that him and Jason Momoa have in this movie it's just Dunk Jason Momoa as Duncan Idaho he is just like this older brother uh, to Paul because because he honestly is just he just honestly wants to make sure he's safe and honestly being the best mentor to him as well and again again the chemistry these two have is just phenomenal i hope i really hope that we see more of Jason Momoa in the possible sequel if we do if we do see him in a sequel that will be legit interesting interesting to see because honestly Jason Moore and Timothy in this role in this movie together they again they got good chemistry they legit have good chemistry and nothing can stop that top that and the CGI again the CGI Another positive in this movie is the CGI and the special effects in this movie. It was great. I could not take my eyes off this movie because that is just legit one of these movies that, well, topped it. This movie topped it. I'm not saying it topped Star Wars just yet, but it's getting up there. It's, not, I'm, it's somewhat getting up there. It's somewhat getting up there. That's all I can tell you. It will it will eventually one day top Star Wars, just not yet. <laughs> but all in all, still a fun movie to watch, just interesting to see and everything. I am looking forward to seeing the sequel to this movie and all the great effects and the interesting cast in this movie as well. And now that's it for the positives. On to the negatives. The one negative is the guy that played Polka Dot uh, Man in the Suicide Squad movie. I can't remember his name. His name is David, I believe. He wasn't in it that much, but it could have been better. 
if we honestly snuffed out his character a little bit more and had him be in this movie a whole lot more. And don't get me wrong, he's a talented actor. We've seen him in Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp and Suicide Squad. Now we're seeing him as this uh, interesting side villain character. But it would be nice if we, uh, if he honestly was in this, in the sequel a whole lot more because we need him to be in the sequel definitely a whole lot more because if we see him in the sequel more, he will be an interesting, more powerful villain aside from the main villain, of course. And yeah, we need, we honestly need a power villain. And another negative is that Dave Bautista, he was not in this movie that much either because he's playing the nephew of the main villain. Even though he's a talented actor, he kills in any role he gets. I just wish that they could honestly put him in, they could have put him in the movie a whole lot more because once, once they honestly do that, that would have been interesting. It could have been better if they put him in more scenes and everything. But who knows? Maybe they'll give him more screen time in the possible sequel. Eventually. I'm praying that they do. I legit pray that they do. And that's it for my positives and negatives. On to my rant. The one thing you will love about this movie, Dune, is that it's just full of uh, fantastic CGI moments full of heartwarming moments and there's a couple of tearjerkers that I almost legit cried on and let me tell you this all-star cast was definitely worth checking out and they are they are amazing I hope they all come back I hope they all come back in the sequel but I'm not gonna spoil what happens to Oscar Isaac's character because I, again, spoiler free, I don't want to spoil it for anybody because when you see the movie, you'll see what I mean. You'll definitely see what I mean because uh, when you see his character, when you see what happens to his character, you guys are going to be legit shocked. I know I was. And again, the chemistry between Timothy and Jason, this was just a perfect romance these guys have really good chemistry and everything you cannot beat their chemistry whatsoever and honestly who knows what the future holds for them in the sequel of dune anything is possible all in all this cast was fantastic including zendaya who plays paul's love interest and everything i again she's a talented actress she's legit a talented actress and i'm looking forward to seeing her and future installments of Dune. Who knows what could happen for her, for Chani and Paul. We can only hope that it's a bright future for both of them. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the sequel to Dune and how it all plays out and they defeat the bad guy. And that's it for my rant. On to the rating. I give Dune a solid a, a solid A hope you guys can see that it's a solid A because because I enjoyed it this is definitely the perfect sci-fi movie of the year and and again this fantastic movie has everything a sci-fi nerd such as myself will love full of epic moments interesting creatures including the giant worm who legit was a total badass excuse my language he the giant worm was a legit total badass it really was in everything <laughs> excuse me and let what else i can tell you is that every single cast played their roles perfectly i i honestly have to say if you want to see an epic sci-fi movie for th this year definitely check out Dune you will not be disappointed with this movie whatsoever and that's it for my movie review guys don't forget to like comment down below subscribe right here 
and share it with everyone you know and press the little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next movie review is going to be. I will see you guys soon. Take care and God bless. Peace.